Hey, I thought I'd try to do a late night chat. Maybe I should turn off the light so it's darker. Um, and my phone holding in my hand. I don't know how stable that will be, but my my teeth, my um, my lips are purple because <laughs> I just ate blueberries, like the wild blueberry ice cream. Um. But if any of you are up for chatting, I'm here. I thought I'm gonna try to do uh, the morning chat and then the evening chat, kind of like the late night chat. And maybe it'll be better if it was like dark, you know, not much light so we can all talk in the dark. Um, and you can ask me any questions and I can answer, hey. Wow, I thought I'll do a late night chat and see if anybody shows up. It's 8.30 my time. Are you Holly? Where are you at? What time is it your time? Hello there, sweet. Um, didn't set any topics, so you guys asked me a bazillion questions. I thought I'll do another live chat because I cannot answer all of them. There's so many. So um, we talked about the self-love today. I hope you did something amazing for yourself. I just watched the movie. Really loved it. It's called Misbehavior with Kieran Knightley about women's liberation. And that's what I did for me. And I also made myself ice cream from wild bilberries. And I just ate that. So that was cool. What did you do for yourself today? If you watched my video earlier, today was for you to love yourself. Because you don't need a Valentine. I don't know if you celebrate Valentine's Day or not. I didn't. But I did self-love. I did things that I love doing. I wrote for two hours and I made myself ice cream. I got an ice cream maker, so I made it myself and then I ate it. That's why my lips are a little blue. <laughs> uh, and I'm not at my desk. So I got a bazillion questions from you about how to forgive and how to nurture your inner child. So I'm gonna do a video tomorrow morning. Hey, tell me everybody where you're from, what your name is, what your time is. Hey, bye, Yon. I don't know. just. Write to me what your name is. I know that some people said that somehow in their comments they can see people's names, but I can't. So where are you at? I'm in Seattle, in Washington State. So it is, what, 8.30? 8.30 p.m. my time. It's kind of evening. I just watched the movie. And you asked me so many questions that I was just like, I cannot answer them possibly all in comments or in videos. So I wanted to answer them here for you. And one was about how you nurture... Hey, hi from LA, not too far away. How to nurture your inner child. So do something for you every day that you love. You know, like your life is crazy busy, but if you can actually tell yourself, hey, Kelly from Kentucky, nice to meet you. Um, if you do one thing for yourself every day, and I kid you not, oh, 11 p.m. in Kentucky, man, you're, you're, you're my hero. You're joining at 11 p.m. 11 p.m. is when I'm going to bed. Hi from Texas, what's the weather like? We're totally fucking snowed in, guys, I kid you not. Like for Seattle, it's weird, but there is, there is a, hey from New Zealand, yay. Um, I have never been, I still wanna go. Like I wanna go and, you know, because of course, Lord of the Rings and all of that, but I just wanna go to New Zealand. So, um, I'm gonna make a video tomorrow, okay? So many of you asked, how do you nurture your inner child? The one thing, <laughs> freezing cold, <laughs> I get you. Hey, I'm from Russia, okay? So in Russia, it is fucking freezing. <laughs> it is really cold. I'm kind of spoiled here in Seattle now. Uh, Bye says, I feel so stuck. I can't get rid of my bad habits. Hey, you're not stuck. First of all, you know that you have them and you wanna get rid of them. That's the first step. The second step, and if you um, all kind of jump with me on the bandwagon of giving yourself love, your inner child, please every day schedule 20 minutes and that's enough. Half an hour is a little too much with your crazy schedule, but, um, uh, oh, hold on. Almari is asking, how can you not hate your parents after they hurt you so much? Hey, I hated them for years. I was really, really angry. Hi, TikTok mom. <laughs> I'll totally be your TikTok mom because both of my kids are grown, so I'll totally adopt you all guys. Hold on, I've lost my train of thought. Fuck it, you were asking me something. Ah, what was I talking about? Oh, inner child, okay. So every day for 20 minutes, put it on your calendar, but 
do what you want. And if you can't decide what you want to do, then spend those 20 minutes thinking about you, what you want to do, okay? And then do that. So this is you nurturing yourself, loving yourself. It's really important. It's important for your mental well-being and for your physical well-being because they're both connected, okay? So um, if you put it on your calendar, then you won't make an excuse. Pretend it's a very important meeting. You're meeting with your inner child. Get that? So whatever your name is, so my name is Ksenia. Every morning I meet with Ksenia and she's five or she's eight or she's 13. It depends on the mood. And then I ask her what she wants to do. And then I do that. So when I was a kid, I really loved ice cream. I got like allowance or not allowance. Like my grandmother would give me 20 kopecks. So it's like a, in Russia, it was like a coin, you know, like a quarter. And I would buy ice cream <clears throat> in school when I was on, on, on the break. I would run and I'd buy ice cream. And uh, I'm doing kind of like, oh, a lot of you have been asking me about my skin. So, <laughs> hey, Vivi Smiles. Yeah, just tell us where you're at, what your real name is if you can. So we can all wave and say hello. Um, I eat carnivore. Those of you who know that, I've tried paleo and keto and all of those. And I literally eat like a cave person, um, you know, meat only and fat and I fast like every Monday I eat nothing like tomorrow I'm gonna be eating nothing so and I don't do dairy only a2 type dairy like from goat goat milk and stuff so I make my own ice cream from wild berries I buy them at a website here in Seattle Northwest wild foods it's called and hey Vivian so um it comes from from Europe when I was a kid we would go with my grandmothers and pick wild bilberries and then I make them with goat milk and, you know, some of the coconut milk. And I only eat berries. Coconut is actually a giant berry. So is avocado. I don't eat any vegetables. If you're interested, I can tell you more. But I have no skin routine. This is like what you see is the result of me completely changing my diet. So, um, so that's what I did for me today is I made myself ice cream. It took me two hours because you have to like mix the berries together. And then you have to scrape them through this you know, nep thing, ah, I've lost all my English, whatever. Uh, and then you have to turn it, you know, but I ate it, it was divine. And I, and I sweeten it only with honey. I don't eat sugar, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea. Like I'm really weird by normal standards, by typical standards, but it's actually really healthy. So what is it? Tell me, tell me what, or think right now, what would be the one thing that you really love doing just for you? and that you would do every day. If you schedule 20 minutes, like what is gonna be that one thing? And that would be something that you can nurture your inner child. Just ask yourself, hey, when you were five, привет, девушка. <laughs> hey, starry young. I don't know, if, is this guy's weird? I just, like, I was too lazy to go sit in front of my uh, table. So I thought I'm, I'm just gonna lay on the couch. I don't know how this is gonna work with my phone up like this and my feet up but i don't want to sit like i'm sitting there bloody every day in front of computer maybe i need to turn off the light so we can all feel like it's night nighttime so that is how you're gonna take um care of your inner child okay you do something that you really love doing it's for you only please this is not for somebody else uh, this old Russian, you know, hey, uh, Staryan, what is your actual name? If you can tell me that I would call you by the name. Um, so this is kind of a, like a free, you know, evening chit chat. It's not so focused that we do in the morning. I thought I'd give it a try. And um, because ask, you guys ask me so many questions, go ahead and ask me. I can answer. So if I love walk, uh, walking, then I take part of the time walking to try to talk to my inner child. Yes. Actually, for me, you know what? This is weird because the stupid lamp is like shining in my face. Let me try and sit here. Um, for me, I love dancing and I denied myself for many, many years. I was like, I'm too old to start dancing and I wanted to do ballet. So is this weird, you guys? The phone is shaking. Fuck it. Maybe this is better. Um, so I would deny it myself. And I started doing it because my little girl, the little girl in me, in my body, who still lives there, right? Even though I'm an adult, she really wanted to go do ballet. You know, that's um, Russia, right? Moscow. I'm from Russia. So Bolshoi ballet was like a thing. Every little girl wanted to do that. My family was poor. 
they didn't have money, I couldn't go, couldn't do it, and so I never did it. So I started doing it in my 40s. I've only been doing it uh, Ast Gik from Armenia. Oh, very nice to meet you. Wow. Hang on, let me scroll down. How do I say your name correctly? Ast Gik? Is that okay? I'm, I hope I'm not butchering it. Hey, uh, a lot of my uh, ancestry is from uh, Georgia. You know, not Georgia here in the, in the U.S., but close to Armenia. Thank you. I love it that you're being here. You know, I, I really, really love it that you guys are here. I mean, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> It is Sunday night. Why are you spending time with me? Go do something you love. So that's why I really appreciate it. You're here. So this is what you would do for yourself. Okay. So if you love walking, then you take a 20 minute walk. But on that walk, you think about you, you the little you, right? You, you talk to yourself. And if you find it weird, there's nothing weird about it. The, the child lives in you. You have these multiple personalities in you, especially if you've been through trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Starry Yan says, I'll, I almost say it right. Haha. <laughs> okay, if you can spell it for me in the comments, maybe I'll say it correctly. Um, COVID ruins all Sunday nights. I know, fuck that, right? But who do we need if we're still here together, you guys? I wish I could go and hug you all in real life. Unfortunately, I can't. Maybe one day, right? You have to roll the G, not with your tongue, but with your throat. Okay, can you can you say it? Can you spell it out again? Because now I, I told, I've lost... Um, I've lost your comment. What do you think about religion? Okay, this is a loaded topic, you guys. Here, I'll give you, I'll tell you what I think. Personally, I hate religion with passion. Just the whole idea of it. The whole idea of some guy telling us how to live or like showing us how to love. Like, you know what? We're girls here. We have vaginas. Like, I don't need some guy, some dude and white dude at that telling me, and some white father to be the father of all. And it's a huge trigger for me because my father is a white guy and he abused me. So white old man forever are triggers for me. Although my boyfriend is a white old man. So like no beef against you guys. This is my personal opinion, okay? So I respect your decision. If you believe in God and if you're religious, please do what works for you. I love you for that. That's great. But just the institution itself pisses me off, okay? I, I just... And I happen to be lucky that I was born in a country where we had no religion. I mean, it was it was terrible because tradition was rooted out. Churches were blown up. So I hate that. But at the same time, I just, I don't subscribe to what religion teaches. Ast kick. Ast kick. Ast kick. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. It's hard to say Ksenia too. People butcher my name. Hold on. Let me try again. Ast kick. <laughs> is this right? I don't. I hope it's not too bad. Um, G seven 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 seven. Can you tell me what your name is so I can address you by the name? Hey, from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I used to think nihilism was bad because life has no meaning, but now I think that you can make your own meaning. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, go for it. I mean, that's what life is about. It's not about somebody telling you how to live life. Oh, and by the way. If you let somebody tell you how to live life, they will, you know, especially our parents do that. You should go this and you should go to this school. Fuck you. You know, it's not their life. Okay. <laughs> oh, ass kick. <laughs> I don't know. Send me a video how to say your name. Ass kick. Ask kick. I'm sorry. Like, I know there's French or uh, Chandel here to say hello. Oh my God. That's a beautiful name. Chandel. Am I saying that correctly at least? I hope I am. So, um, yeah, that's another thing, guys. If you let somebody tell you how to live your life, they will. And I did that for most of my life. I lived for other people. This is my first few years that I'm actually doing stuff for myself. The only reason that I'm doing ballet classes now, because I was like, oh, I can do something for me. Oh, my God. I don't have to always care for my kids or my partner or, you know, all the people around me. And I just... I did not allow myself to do that. And I was really unhappy. So this is nurturing your inner child. Okay. You want something. And so you are going to go and do that something for you. When you were a kid, when you had a dream, when you wanted to, I don't know, go to space or, or, or dance or sing or whatever it is that you wanted to do. So Askik is asking. Yeah, I'm Russian too. Я тоже русская. Мы можем по-русски говорить, если хочешь. Немножко. Do you have an Instagram? Yes, I do. It's the same name. Uh, it's Ksenia Anski. You can follow me there. Send me longer messages there. 
You can actually send me messages. Blah, <laughs> send me messages here. I'm not drunk, I swear. I don't drink, actually. Um, but uh, uh, I think on Instagram you can send longer messages. I've enabled it here. Oh, you're from Moscow. Yay, привет, я тоже из Москвы. I'm from Moscow, too. Uh, are you Maria? Masha? Тебя зовут Masha? Um, so, okay, where were we? We were talking about uh, nurturing your inner child. I'm gonna do a video tomorrow morning for you guys. I know that we talked about how to forgive. Actually, I have a list of your questions, you guys. Here, see, I'm so fucking organized. But I don't wanna sit at my desk because I sit at my desk all day long, so. Okay, so you asked how to not feel jealous, how to nurture your inner child, how to forgive. Uh, maybe there is more. These are the ones that I took notes of. Which one do you want? Привет, Masha. Hi, Ksusha. <laughs> Which one do you want me to talk about? I can talk, you know, we can do these nightly sessions too because I, uh, I did just the morning life, but there's so many questions that I just don't have enough time to answer them all. G777, my girlfriend and I have a term for the inner child. We call it the monkey ahaha. I like that. I like that. Monkey ahaha. That's awesome. Uh, you, Neko says, you remind me of Audrey Hubbard. You know, multiple people told me that. Uh, and I used to have like really short, like I had bangs. And before my hair turned gray, it was kind of darker. It's kind of like it's bleaching out as I get older. Uh, and people will tell me that because I'm skinny, you know, and they'll be like, if I dress in all black, they're like, hey, you're like Audrey Hepburn. How to nurture your inner child, how to forgive. Yes. Are you Zoe? Am I assuming that, that correctly? What's the most important lesson you learned in your life? You guys are going deep. What are you smoking, you guys? <laughs> oh. Okay, so um, as I said, how to nurture is you pretty much start thinking back to your childhood and what is the things that made you happy. Maybe sitting in dirt and looking at bugs made you happy. So go ahead and do that. Even though you're an adult, sit in dirt and really look at bugs. I kid you not, make time for it. Make time for yourself. 20 minutes a day. That's how I started. So I started with 20 minutes a day and that helped me. Is this, does this annoy the hell out of you guys that my phone is jiggly? I just... I have nothing to put it here on the couch and I really do want to sit at my desk because that's my work desk and I want to kind of separate evening from morning. Uh, what is the most important lesson you learned in your life? Oh boy, way to throw me under the bus. Um, trust myself. You know, this is what my abusers robbed me of. They robbed me of trust. I didn't trust myself. When I tried telling adults what happened to me, they told me that I'm a liar that I'm imagining things. And so it confused me. It confused me because I remembered what happened to me, but I was told that I was wrong, that it didn't happen. And so I stopped trusting myself. And that really, really hurt me in life because my gut would tell me do this, but my brain would overwrite it. It would be like, no, no, don't trust yourself. And that hurt, that hurt a lot and that cost a lot. Uh, a lot of years and a lot of agony, a lot of pain. So please, if you can learn on my mistakes, trust yourself. If a red flag goes up in your gut, something is wrong, trust yourself. Even if 20 people around you tell you that you're wrong, trust yourself. Um, yeah, Zo 722 says, yeah, but it's just a nickname because people think I have a, a hard name to pronounce and remember. Fuck those people. Your name is the most important word in your life. That's how your parents named you, your mom named you. If you care to share, Tell us what your name is and how to pronounce it. We'll try to say it correctly. Um, so, yeah, if you if you guys like this, we can do these nightly kind of conversations that are more loose than in the morning. Uh, but going back to your question, what I learned, I learned that I should have spoken up earlier. I Because I didn't trust myself, I couldn't tell people what happened to me because I couldn't pinpoint this exactly in a certain time, certain day, you know, like a crime that happened to you. And that's the problem with most of us um, sexual abuse survivors, especially childhood sexual abuse, because we don't remember. We piece it together from what the body remembers, but we don't remember in our mind. And so if we were to go to police, we can't just say, oh, a guy assaulted me or something, you know, we just don't remember. So it makes you feel crazy. For many years, I was like, am I imagining this? Like, am I wrong? Am I nuts? Um, Starry Young, it was nice chatting with you. I talked to you soon. It was good to see you. 
Uh, I'll try to pronounce your name next time correctly. Uh, a A A A C A A it says yes. I'm learning this. Yeah, uh, and I'm with you. So my name is Azuf, and I think it's actually pronounced exactly as it's written. Azuf. Am I saying it correctly? Azuf. I love it. That's a beautiful name. Does it have a meaning? Um, Neko. Yes, I remembered years later that was being abused. Yeah. So the trust is so important because. Oh, and, and one more thing too, when you suffer from abuse and you're later as an adult, realize that you don't know who you are. You change yourself, you begin wearing a mask because that's what people tell you to do. They want you to be seen a certain way. So you shove your own self, or you want to call it an inner child deep inside. You don't know who you are really anymore. You live the life how people want to see you live the life. People tell you, you know, go do this, go do that, and be like this, be like that. And you go because you want to please them. Because you don't think that you yourself have any freedom to do it. And so you don't even know who you are. It took me, oh boy, it took me five, I think on my fifth or my sixth book is when I started really seeing who I am. And I've written 10 books now. So it's, it's not an easy journey. But you're doing a first step. First of all, you're here together. We're going to talk about it. We're not going to be silent. Um... Azuf says, yeah, actually, thank you. It has a couple of meanings, but it's just the one that I like. I really like it. It means musical instruments. Can you guys imagine? That's a beautiful name. If it means musical instruments, that's so cool. Um, so I would tell you that if you did suffer from trauma, the one thing that ha helped me when there were no doctors, I was broke, I couldn't afford therapy. I just had to somehow pull myself by my hair, you know, out of it was writing a story and it was writing a story with beginning middle and end so it was imagining the abuse that happened to me not necessarily remembering just imagining and trusting my body and writing it into a story of a hero you know like i would name myself somebody else like i would become somebody else it was a fictional story is this annoying <laughs> i <laughs> just ugh. i'm gonna set up this better for next time i promise i just thought that i will try you know, try doing it on the fly. Maybe I can wedge my phone here in the pillow or something. Maybe this is better. Okay, this seems better. Um, Marielle says, I know you mentioned that you struggle taking talking on in public, but have you thought about giving speeches? Yeah, I've given speeches before, you guys, and then I hid from people for about 10 years. I haven't been able to talk to anybody. I will probably return to it because I started talking. You are inspiring me. Just the fact that you're listening here, it was like, wow, I really need to stop being silent. And that is how predators get away. You know, abusers get away with the stuff they do to us because we're silent. They're like, hell yeah, I'll fuck you right over. <laughs> you're not talking about anything I do. Well, let me twist you some more. Uh, Kelly and Storm, hey, nice to meet you. Kelly says, you have helped me so much. Thank you so much for your words. Well, thank you so much for being here. You have no idea, you guys. Just the fact that you're here, you're inspiring me to keep going. Because I was silent for too long. And I realized that I can really give you so much and hopefully save you time and money. Because therapy wasn't helping me. Oh, and uh, Curly Pink Fangirl. Hey, nice to meet you. What's your actual name? I felt my mom was abusive and hated her my whole life. Now that she's gone, I regret being mean. I'm so sorry. You know, write a letter to your mom. Even though she's gone, can you write her a story of your love? That will help you. Uh, in my books, when I killed my father over and over again, I also wrote him a love letter, kind of like from the character. Hey, Angie. Nice to meet you, Angie. Um, that really helped me. So if you can do that, do that for your mom, even if she's dead. Actually, to all of you, if you have someone who hurt you and they are dead, you can still get closure if you imagine them in a the story and you get closure that way. That's how I got closure, because my dad cut me out of his life after I confronted him. So I don't know if I'll ever see him. I don't know if I'll see him alive. I don't, I don't even know if I'll find out if he's dead, you know? So I had to get closure the different way, and um, it, I got it from books. So C. Cutter says, I know you get this a lot, but you look so young. You're so inspiring. So I was telling you guys, oh, fuck. I forgot. Okay, I have it written down. I promise, right here, 
I forgot again. Oh my God. Actually, memory. That's another thing. I struggled with it a lot. Uh, I forget things a lot because that's how I survived as a kid. I would just forget. I forget something that happened five minutes ago so I could continue going. I promise you, I will show you a picture of me 10 years ago when I looked older. I look older and sick and you'll see. I look younger now, except for the hair. The hair is, you know, lighter now, but I look younger. So this is just a testament to how the mind is connected to the body. And we disconnect it, especially in the Western medicine, which is bullshit because it is all connected. Uh, hold on, I'm scrolling back down. So um, that's, that's probably what I would recommend to you is to begin digging. Because if you can start digging up all that shit that happened to you, will leave you. Like you're storing it in your body and that's what makes it look and feel not healthy, you know. Oh, hey, Vivian, I just saw your video. Excellent message. Thank you, Bucky Man. I love you. Thank you for joining. Yeah, I want to see those before or after pics. I promise I will do it. Yeah, I have it written down. So hopefully next or tomorrow, next week, nobody wants to talk because when we are the oddball out, don't want people looking at. Okay, this is, this is my solution, okay? Nobody wanted to hear the shit that happened to me. It's like nobody wants to hear about incest. It's icky, yucky, blah. Like people walked around me like I had a plague. So I wrote it into a book and now everybody reads it because it's fiction. And I'm like, eat my truth, assholes. So that's what you can do too. You can write your story into a fictional story. Vivian says, I had similar to your childhood trauma. Thank you for being so open, honest. Thank you for being here. We're together now, girl. We're in it, sister. So we're going to do it together. Hey, from South Australia. I'm in Seattle. It is dark. Let's see. It's dark and snowy. I can show you. Can you guys see? <laughs> Look at all that snow. We're, we're like completely snowed in. It is nuts. Um, but I'm still missing parts of it and I'm not sure if what actually happened, what I made up. Okay, let me sit back at the couch and tell you what's important here for you to know that you're not missing any parts. It's just the worst thing that happened to you, you don't remember. I also still don't remember everything. I remember pieces, but my body remembers all of it. And so I would really recommend that you create a fictional story. You literally write a fictional story. You change your name to a hero, somebody else, and your abuser's name. You change and then you write what comes. Exaggerate, please fantasize. That's where you will get confidence and you will trust yourself because it's fiction. You can imagine. Do you see? Well, your brain doesn't know the difference, plus your subconscious is going to put the truth in there. Even if it is distorted, the truth is still going to be there because your feelings are true. Your body never lies. And even if you want to read a book, about the body keeps the score. It's going to explain to you why you don't remember your abuse as one piece and why it's important to write it out. Uh, let me scroll back and read. You forget a lot. Yeah, you forget because that was your survival mechanism. It's normal. I like your response. Well, I like you being here. How do you find out who you are? Does the actual self even exist? That's a good question. So, yeah. I mean, you do exist and you change and you find out by writing down what we want to do with your life or what your story is. That's how I learned who I am. The reason why you guys are like, hey, how are you so confident or independent? Like, I get this comments like, how do you do that? It was a long journey. It was over 10 years and I still fall prey to people who want to take advantage of me. Like just now, I sent out the newsletter to my subscribers. I have my website where my books are, kaseniaanski.com. And two guys send me like these nasty messages. And I was like, fuck you. I'm going to unsubscribe them and block them. Because at one point, sometimes they signed up. And I was like a magnet for old white men. You know, it's just because that's the image of my dad, right? So I would attract these kinds of predators because I would display vulnerabilities that were really attractive to them. So I only learned that by writing my books, by looking at it like in the mirror going, holy shit, I do that. So that's the only way that you would do it too. Uh, let me scroll back and look at the comments. I'm trying to read. Hey, see, I'm getting better. Somebody here told me how to scroll because I was telling him like, hey, please type your question again. And somebody else said, you can just scroll and I'm like, oh my God, I'm such a dumbass. I haven't, I'm new on TikTok. I haven't been using it. 
C. Cutter says, oh, quantum healing hypnosis technique helps a lot of people who felt stuck. So I tried hypnosis, but I'm just not, doctors gave up on me. Like I'm not, it doesn't work on me. And on a lot of trauma survivors, hypnosis doesn't work because we like to be in control so much. It's really difficult for us to let go because not being in control means that we're going to get abused again, hurt again, you know. So, uh, but back to your question about um, nurturing your inner child. Guys, remember, it's so important for your health. Like, it's probably even as important as you would say, like, physical exercise every day. You have to do your daily mental health exercise. So, 20 minutes is what I say. 20 minutes is enough for you to start writing down the story of what is the world that you want to live in. Who do you want to be? What kind of a superhero do you want to be? And what do you want to accomplish? And that will give your inner child a kick. Because right now, they don't think that they can do what they always wanted to do. Okay, you got to give them that. You got to give yourself that. Uh, let me scroll back up. I love the advice you give. I can't afford therapy, but at least there's something I can try now. Yeah, same here. I was broke, single mom, unemployed, no insurance, no medical insurance, no money for therapists. I was desperate to, you know. <laughs> uh, user unknown 934 says, why is toxic so addictive? because that's the shit that you know <laughs> it's addictive because you are used to it so don't think that it's addictive and please don't think you're doing something wrong you're not the thing is that your behavior is locked into a pattern and it's very difficult to break out of it alone so if you don't have anybody supporting you you can write a story about it and then you begin to see the pattern and that is the only way that i found i was lonely when I started speaking about my abuse, I've lost both of my friends. You know, those people who are pretending they're your friends, but then when real shit hits the fan, they leave you. My family turned away from me. I was just, I divorced from my husband. So it was like, I, how I was supposed to survive, right? I still had to be a mom somehow. So that is what I did. I started writing and through writing my stories, I started seeing who I really am. And that is what saved me. So it's cheap. Pen, paper, right? You can do it. It's really the best solution out there that I can give you. It helped me. Uh, what, what, what am I really good at? You're saying, hey, damn, you're so good at this. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. What I'm, what I'm good at. Obviously, TikTok, I'm still learning the things. You know, like I haven't done my first duet yet. Or I'm still kind of getting used to this. Um, what do you write? Or can you talk a bit about codependency? So, two things. So, what do you write? You write the life you want to lead. And you write your emotion out. Like, for example, right now, if you're really angry at someone who hurt you, then you write a story, and in that story, listen, fucking kill them. <laughs> if that is the anger you feel, get violent. It's really healthy. I mean, if you don't want to go there, or you want to torture them, I killed my father in my stories over and over and over again for years until I felt relief. And that's how long it took me. So please write it out. Uh, the second thing, let's see. What was the second thing? What do I, uh, can you talk about codependency? So, you know, I hate labels. Like all of these things that we say, oh, you have ADD or ADHD or you're codependent, bullshit. You have a need, okay? You have something that cries out in your body, in your mind. So it's not so much codependency, it's just that, that you think that you need someone to help you and that person thinks that they need you. And I just posted a video today, you don't need anybody to love you. You need to learn to love yourself. The reason why there's codependency or you think you're dependent on another person is because you think that to be whole, they need to love you or you need to be loved. You don't. You just, you need to learn how to love yourself and to do that, Again, like we talked about, every day you do the nurturing of your inner child. For 20 minutes, you allow yourself to do what you want. And if all you want is to sit and do nothing or spit at the ceiling or pick your nose while nobody's looking, it's pretty entertaining. I pick my nose sometimes when nobody's looking and it's like, oh my God, you know? I mean, like a kid, right? You get this like, oh, I got this big booger out. I know it's nasty, but who gives a fuck? Just do it for 20 minutes. And only after you get into routine of taking care of yourself, you will actually begin realizing that you don't need anyone, right? It's not a fast solution, but you can take a first step. I hope that answers your question. 
Dear Karina, 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 is that the right uh, way I'm pronouncing your name? Blonde says, you're beautiful. I'm so sorry you had to go through this alone. Uh, thank you. And for the longest time, I hated that I was beautiful. My mother is very beautiful. My father is handsome. Both of them beautiful people. Very hurt and obviously very hurtful. And I hated it. I hated that I would look in the mirror and I look like some of my facial features like my mom my eyes are my dad's people tell me oh you have beautiful big eyes i'm like i fucking hate them i hate them because i look in the mirror and i see my father staring at me and i hate that so it took me a long time to to say just oh thank you you know to like take it as a compliment because i would rebel against it so thank you i'm taking it see i'm practicing uh let me scroll back up oh okay i think i answered every question Whew. Breathing, right? Breathing is good. So ask anything else or tell me what you're doing if you have any ideas. Um, I can tell you that it is so important that you love yourself. And we don't really, we condemn it in society. You know, like, oh, you're selfish or you're, you're doing this thing for yourself. And especially if we're going to start talking about gender here. Um, but, you know, if you're a girl or a woman or I identify as a woman or you grew up in an environment that's pet, that is strictly park, uh, blah, <laughs> patriarchal, right? So the cult of the man, then you're supposed to be giving. Like you're supposed to be doing all these things for other people, but not for you. And if you do something for you, you're a selfish bitch, right? But if you sacrifice, you're celebrated. Oh, she's such a great mom. She sacrifices herself for her children. Just listen to that for a second. That is sick right it's somebody sacrificing their happiness for other people that's just not right so you have to take care of yourself and if you forget i'll remind you that's what i'm here for uh dear karina says how do i begin working on self-love so like i said before or if you just join now is every day schedule 20 minutes for yourself and do the one thing that makes you happy and maybe it's doodling Maybe it's taking a long shower. I don't know. But you put it in your calendar. It is a schedule. It's a very important meeting. What if I told you that you're meeting with some important boss at your job, right? You would not miss that. Well, this is a very important boss. They're a boss of your mental health. You've got to meet them every day at a certain time and make them happy. So make it happen. Put it into calendar. I know I, I held on to my calendar for many years because I would forget things like brush my teeth or get out of bed. I was, it was so bad. My depression was so bad that I could, you know, if it was not on my calendar, I wouldn't do it. I just would not even undress or, 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 or take a shower or nothing. It was awful. So I had to put it in the calendar. So in the calendar, it said, get up. It said, dress, get dressed, brush your teeth. Uh, have breakfast like I kid you not I had it in the calendar it would, re it would remind me because if it didn't remind me I wouldn't do it so that pulled me out uh, user unknown says my form of self-love is sleeping for hours hey if it helps and I mean if you can do it the reason why I'm telling you 20 minutes every day is because sometimes we have crazy schedules and you know jobs and lives and kids and bills we have to pay Sometimes it's impossible. So I found that 10 minutes is not enough. It has to be 20 minutes. 20 minutes is the minimum. If you can do more, do more. But um, Isaac, is that Isaac? Is that your name? Count says, do you think plastic surgery can be a form of self-love? Oh my God. Oh my God, I love you. Oh, 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 I love you for this comment. So I had plastic surgery. Guys, I had a nose job done. Okay, I'll tell you all about it. Fucking up. <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable in this in this thing. I'm trying to find a good way to sit here with you on my couch. So I'll tell you the story. Um, it's not like it's noticeable, but it is kind of cute. My nose is much bigger. It kind of like a little... I need to find you the before and after pictures of that too. Um, so I used to look uh, much more as my father. So what happened is I was biking home from my job. I used to work at a startup. And I used to bike a lot on a bicycle. I was hit by a truck and I woke up in the hospital. That was one of my wake up calls. Why I started writing is because the universe literally told me, dude, <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill you. You need to start talking about it. So I woke up in a hospital and it told me that I T-boned this truck. My bike broke in half. 
part of the frame drove into my leg all the way. My helmet saved my life. I still, I don't know if you can see, there's a, um, can you see? There's like a scar. So the helmet, uh, you know, the, the plastic thing drove into my, into my chin and the insurance paid me money. And I think it was like 7,000 or $8,000 or five, to six, that some, you know, like a big amount of money. And I always, my entire life since I was a teenager, I wanted to do a nose job because it was my father's nose and it's, it's kind of big. You see how mine is now? You see it's like cute, it's kind of like going up. Well, it used to be all straight with like this little bulb at the end. Not much bigger, but his eyes, I have his eyes and the nose. I hated myself so much I wanted to scratch my face off when I looked in the mirror. So I really wanted to do a nose job. And you know, of course, what people tell you. Oh, no, 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 no. You shouldn't do it. It's not going to help. Please tell those people, fuck you. Get the fuck out of my face and stop fucking telling me what makes me feel good. If you want to do plastic surgery, do it. It is so healing. When I did it, and when I did my nose job, and I'll, um, I really don't know how to show you pictures here, guys. If anybody will send me a message on Instagram, Send me a link to YouTube how I can share pictures with you. I will. I don't know how to. I just haven't figured it out yet. So I did my nose job and I, I looked in the mirror and I saw me for the first time. I don't look like my mom and not like my dad. I changed my name too. My name legally is Anske. It's an anagram of Ksenia. Do you see? The letters, I just juggled the letters because I didn't want my father's name. I didn't want any of my ex-husband's last names. And fuck that, by the way, that as women, we have to take a guy's name. Fuck that. I wanted my own. So I created it. I created it. And then when I divorced the second time, I made it my legal name. So yes, plastic surgery is very healing. And if somebody tells you that it's bullshit and you shouldn't do it, do not listen to these people. My boyfriend, uh, he's also an abuse survivor. He has this big gap. You know, like in front teeth, his teeth are like, there's this huge gap. And he never smiled. And for the first time in his life, and he's 40, what is he, 46 now? I'm 45. I think he's 46 or 47. I forget. Oh my God. I think he's 47. He didn't have money. So for the first time, he's, you know, he got money together with insurance. He got a new job and he can now afford it. He's doing braces. And a lot of people told him, oh, why are you doing this? And you know what? Fuck those people. He never smiled. Like, he doesn't smile because he's ashamed of his gap in the teeth. And for the first time right now, he's smiling, even though he has braces. And he's so happy. It's like his first year, it hurts because he got the metal things and... And he doubted, and I told him, do it. He's like, okay, I'm like, do it. He's like, no, I'm like, do it. He's like, oh, it's a lot of money. I'm like, do it, do it, it's, it's for you. And he's doing it, and he's very happy. So that was a really long answer to your question. I thank you so much for asking. So please do it if you can. Also, look at my forehead. So I went to uh, electrolysis, and I my forehead was really, I have Persian blood in me. Any of you here, Persian? Um, Iranian, you know, south, uh, southern, I have a unibrow, I had a unibrow, and my hair would go down, I had a really small forehead, so I actually went and I uh, deleted the hairs, this is the, the, this is the line of my hair that I created for myself, you know, it used to be go down like this, and I had a unibrow, and I deleted, I uh, erased, it was like a, um, laser with laser they kill the the uh, hair follicles so and i'm able to do this right for the first time in my life i pull my hair back i i always used to have my hair down like this like i had my hair you know i'd always pull it like this and i would look down i would not look people in the face like ugh, i have to show you these pictures somebody tell me how to show you so for the first time i was looking like a girl like a woman like really girly with pink cheeks you know and stuff like that I wasn't able to, so so it's really healing. Um, plastic surgery. Hold on. <laughs> now there are so many questions. I need to scroll back up and read it all. Oh boy, the last one was from Freddie PLS. L O L. Yes. What were you laughing at? 
Tell me it's nice, okay? I can't wait to fix my nose, Isaac. Yes, please, it will help you. But it is fucking expensive. I can only, I could only do it because insurance money, because it's not covered by insurance. Uh, Kelly and Storm says, can you make a video series of things that happened to you, how you dealt with it as a child? Sure, I can. A lot of shit happened to me, including I saw a man killed. Three people in my family were killed. Like, this is just to give you off the bat, you know, stuff. Stuff that I lived through a lot of violence. So, yeah, I can do that. Um, can you please remind me, Kelly and Storm, can you go into my Q&A and actually send me that as, as a question? Or, and also, can you go to my Instagram, follow me, and send me a message in there? Because that will cement it in my brain and I will... Hold on, let me take a screenshot too. Okay. I just took a screenshot, but still, can you put it in my Q&A? Now I'll do it. Um, Zoe says, or not Zoe. Sorry, I forgot your, your name. Was it Azu? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, one of the things I love in my culture is that nobody takes anyone's last name. We each keep our own. What culture is that? Can you share with this? And then Kelly says, and how you would deal with it now. Yeah, where am I from? I'm from Russia, from Moscow. Soviet Union. I am from Russia. I can talk to you in the bad Russian accent. <laughs> um, definitely. It makes you happy when it's worth it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. You're welcome. Um, does that help you guys? I mean, it's the way I look right now is what I created. I had to create my new identity. I escaped to a different country. English is not my first language, but because it is English, I can talk about my abuse freely because I don't think that I could have talked about it in Russian. I changed my name. I illegally changed my last name. I did a nose job and I have removed hair from my face through electrolysis between my eyebrows. I changed, yes, it's a zoo. Okay, I got it right. Uh, I changed my appearance a lot because it gave me a new identity, a new beginning. So you can do it too. Uh, hold on, I love your new identity. I'm Cuban American, Vivian, that's awesome. Uh, Azuf says you're from Saudi Arabia. That is cool, I've never been, I wanna go. You're wonderful, you're wonderful too, Karina. You're wonderful for being here. Uh, hold on, I love your new identity. Yeah, I love you too. I, I'm, I'm at peace with myself. Like, do you know how you always subconscious, self -con sorry, uh, self conscious? I'm not. I don't even remember what that feels like. And I was so self conscious. Like, how do I look? And how does anybody look at me? And do I look okay? What did they think? Da -da 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 -da. There was like yada 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 going in my brain. It was awful. I couldn't actually focus on the things I wanted to do because I was just freaking out about what anybody else would think about me. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. So we were just talking about plastic surgery and how healing that might be. Oof, wow, I've been talking a lot nonstop. Hi, holy shit, it's almost 9.30. So we can go for another 10 minutes. Do you guys want me to do it again at night? Uh, once I find some kind of a bloody holder for my phone so I don't have to hold it in my hand. I just, I didn't wanna, see this is my, my workstation right there. See it? So that is where I would, put my phone and I talk to you in the mornings. This is my couch. Thank you for happy birthday. This is my couch. Uh, it's like a, the other side of my office. So this is my writing cave. So I'm sitting on the couch. So I'm kind of sitting on the couch so I don't do the, the morning is over there. So it's like a separation between work and having fun. Uh, if you don't mind my phone shaking like this, it's fine with me, I can hold it. Azuf says, I've always hated my name, so I finally made a decision this year to get it legally changed. Yeah, you know what? If you hate something, you hate a, a, a certain aspect of your appearance, your name, anything, please don't listen to anybody who's telling you, no, you shouldn't be doing it, or, oh, no, you shouldn't be running away, you know, you really need to search within yourself. Fuck you, because that stuff is triggering. You really cannot heal in the place they made you sick in the first place. You really cannot heal among people they made you sick. And you cannot heal with something that you're looking at every day in the mirror. Like it's triggering, it's reminding you, so get rid of it if you can. But you know what? I was lucky. I was lucky that I got hit by that truck, that I'm alive, and I got insurance money because I, I didn't have money to do plastic surgery. Like it's expensive, it's also scary, it's on your face, you know? And 
he didn't quite do the job he I wanted him to do there's like this little dip I don't know if you guys can see it when I when I suntan or the sun falls down I have like this little brown spot now because of the uneven shape so I don't know it's not perfect but I don't care I, it makes me really happy my blanket is beautiful yeah so this is from my boyfriend's family it's an American tradition and I'm you know I'm Russian but it's generations of his family and like little squares from the clothes from his family he has a huge family he's a, a do you know Jack Daniels the whiskey so that's his family is Royce Daniels so he's um, the Daniel uh, li uh, lineage lineage how do you call it uh, it was three brother brothers from Ireland who immigrated to Tennessee the two brothers stayed and they did uh, Jack Daniels the whiskey whiskey and then the third brother got to Texas, and from Texas, his family moved up here to Whidbey Island. He's from the island, so um, this is his family heritage, the story. I'm just like, I'm a nomad, and like, a, I don't have a family. They're all back in Russia, and they all turned away from me, so I'm kind of like the adoptee myself. Like, I don't have, you know, his mom and his dad are still together. They're married. They love each other. Every time we go to Thanksgiving or Christmas, I feel like I have a family. Like I have mom and dad, quote unquote, you know, because I don't have mine. I mean, I do. They're alive, but they're not together. They hate each other and they don't, they're not in contact with me. Um, you should have a, make a podcast on Spotify. What do you want me to talk about on the podcast? Oh my God. Oh, thank you for all the happy birthday wishes. Yeah, it was last Saturday. It's been a week now, but that video, holy Christ. It's almost, it's approaching half a million views. I'm like, are you guys crazy? Why so many views? Uh, yes, be yourself. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I'm with you, sister. So, um, I wonder how non-abusive people are like, what do you mean? Can you, can you tell me more? Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Self-love, how to deal with anxiety. Um, so i didn't make a video if you go through does this help you guys that i make titles i started making titles so you can maybe scroll through and find the one about anxiety there is one that i talk about does this is this helping you and i started doing the transcriptions so you can actually see you know the the linking of my text that the linking of my talking um i would imagine anxiety as this thing in my body and i I'm with you, FYYP3, being around a lot of narcissists that I attract them. Yeah, I, I attracted predators too. So anxiety is a thing that is sitting in your body, and I would imagine them like this ugly human being or like a creature, a monster, and I would ask them to step out, and I would shout at them. Like I would talk to them, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing in my body? Why are you here? Who are you? We have this conversation in my head, but like if you just imagine anxiety sitting in front of you, and, and imagine what they would look like and you talk to your anxiety that shifts your focus away from your body outside and that is how you can get over it that's how I started and then I started writing stories like anxiety comes from somewhere somebody hurt you so you got to remember who did that to you uh, I saw your video about becoming your own parent <laughs> thank you yeah I mean I had no choice I mean it wasn't like some kind of a lightning strike or genius idea you know i just had to survive somehow and i was like i, I guess i have to parent myself like if i don't have my parents ah, yeah i think i'm tired of talking i'm gonna wrap it up okay you guys um let's do a few more minutes and then i'm gonna crawl into shower and bed i'll be here online tomorrow again i'll make you a video how to um how to nurture your inner child and I'll go live again. I'll be live again in the morning. And I'll be live in the evening. Again, I'll try it. I'll try to keep it up. Um, ask me questions. So the thing is that if here on TikTok you put your questions in Q&A, it only gives me an option to answer as a video. I love you too, Martin. I love you very much. All of you. Uh, if you put the question in there, I can't answer it to you with text. I have to do a video. And sometimes... To make a video is like a, you know, it takes a while, so I can't quickly answer. If you want to, and if you haven't heard from me, please follow me on Instagram. Are you Serbian? No, I'm Russian. Follow me on Instagram and send me a question in there as a private message, and that way I'll remember to answer you. Otherwise, it will get lost in the noise. 
Uh, yeah, thank you, Azu, for, for being here. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, ask me questions. Uh, join my other... Um, I know, baby face. That's what happens when you heal. You look, you look really good. So follow my other account here, my company. I started a community on how to write out your trauma into a story and heal yourself. It's called Emberville. And the account here is Visit Emberville. You can see it in my, in my bio. Once we hit a thousand followers, I'll do live classes in there. How to actually write it into a story. Oh, I think I'm just tired of talking. <laughs> I think I'm just tired, period. Those of you who just joined now, you guys, we're wrapping up already. I'm so sorry you're joining now. And I, I tried setting a, a, a particular time to tell you when I'm going to be here. And it's a little bit impossible with life and stuff. But yeah, join there. Uh, I'll be doing classes in there and I'll be talking more. Send me questions. Post it in Q&A or um, send me a message, a longer message on Instagram so that it doesn't, wouldn't get lost. You can also contact me on my startup's website. My startup is called emberville.com. You see the, the link in my bio. So in there, on our website, there's like a little chat bot. You can send a message in there, conversation. You can even schedule a 20 minute with me on the calendar so I can show you around my community that I'm building if you'd like. And you can email me from there in the forum too. So yeah, thank you, you guys. I wish I could stay more, but I'm fading. Thank you all for being here. I hope you had a wonderful day today. I hope you took care of you. I hope you did something that you love doing, not because somebody told you something, not because you thought you had to do something for somebody. If you haven't right now, please, Turn off your phone. Turn off your internet. Set your timer for 20 minutes. And for 20 minutes, do something for you. Okay? Even if you just sit and think about what is it you like to do. Hey, Nicola, you're Serbian. And your friend is named Ksenia. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm from Russia. I'm from Moscow. Okay? Promise? I can't put both of my hands together because I'm holding my phone. I love you all. I love you so much. We're building our own family. So... It doesn't mean that we have to love our family, biological family, because we didn't choose it. So if you don't love it, please don't beat yourself up. It's okay. You build your own family. So I'm your family here. You're my family here. And I'm not going anywhere. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I love you to death. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.